So hello everybody at Equid. I just wanted to show you that even before logging in the CP, I'll show you the CP in a second, because the CP here has Amazon Cloudflare and it ha a, a Cloudflare and AWS, but it also has the Facebook Pixel before even logging in. I don't want the Facebook Pixel spying on me. Do you know what the Facebook Pixel is? Do you really? I've got to turn up with a gain on my microphone so you can hear me a bit better. Do you really know what the Facebook pixel is? You don't. You don't know what's in it. You haven't seen the code. It spies on so much. And I don't want... I'm not paying monthly payments for this CP for you to data broker my behaviors. Yeah? You want me to upload my products to the Facebook shop tab? Well, so they steal all of your data from you. And when somebody wants one of my products and searches for it directly spelled as I spell it, it comes up in Facebook as top result instead of my website or my website.equid.com subdomain. I don't want the Facebook pixel. I've left Facebook. I'm leave I still can't delete the accounts, but I'm leaving. I've closed my account to only me can see. And my pages are going to go too because the pages, are, page shares are stealing search results from directly from my website. So I'm of the opinion that uh, there's no other people spelling like me, my products, and there's no other competition. I might not as well give Facebook that particular search terminology to let them get a search result because I want people landing on my website, not on Facebook. But the reason that Facebook is getting top results, part of it, is because they're doing SEO gathered from this Facebook pixel here. And they're spying on everybody. So let's go to now your badly programmed CP and badly programmed front and back end of the shop. Because both sides. Yeah, your headers, your X content type opt-in headers not found or it has the wrong value. HSTS, your strict transport security header is not found. X powered by HTTP header reveals your server configuration, yeah? Look at cookies, oh yeah, thanks. Add roll. Add roll. <sighs> Processing orders count. So let's go to the catalog. Anyway, I've just proved to you that your um, last 30 days summary of sales on the dashboard, which is like a kiddie's toy compared to the dashboard that you had 10 years ago at the beginning that allowed you to actually filter sales between which date and which date and even uh, lim filter it further. Like this one has filters. You can filter lots here on the products. You can filter by marketplace category, ribbon text even. You've added loads of stuff here. But on the dashboard, this has been here for two years. I want to, don't want to delete it because I keep the address of the person because I'm going to go beat them up one day. They live in Bangkok. In the moment they can't go to Bangkok, they bought stuff from me. And they, they did a cre uh, uh, credit card charge back and stole it. So I'm keeping the address. So not paid needs to be shipped. 31 orders, last 30 days, 3,983. Is that accurate? I don't need to look because I've already looked on Ancient Amulet, which is this one. So if I'm just saved here. And it says on my dashboard of Ancient Amulet, which is store 1447232, the way you guys like to think of it, <laughs> says that I made 6,498 in the last 30 days. Yeah. And if we go to orders, why do I have no orders in this shop? Oh, look how long that took. And why did that take so long yeah, to load? Why did it take so long to load yeah, the sales? This is a different shop. Look how long it's taking to load. And on the front end, the Equid takes so long to load as well. 
Yeah. So, for example, we go to the front of thailandemulate.net. My website loads straight away. But look at the script of Equid. Ten. Ten seconds. The new Google algorithm for powerful SEO and high search ranking is the faster your website loads, the higher ranking you get. My website loads in about one and a half to two seconds. Yeah. Now it's 10 seconds because of your script, this script, what you're looking at here. It's 10 seconds. And how many rows do I have showing? That's my blog. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, six rows of five products, five times six. Yeah. That's 15, isn't it? Sorry, uh, 30, sorry, 30 products. So displaying 30 products takes 10 seconds to load. That's no good for Google after the last SEO update of Google's SEO. Yeah. Of its, uh, what it classes, of, of its ranking, how it ranks websites and classes websites. It's how fast the website loads is one of the top priorities. And why? Is this loading so slow? Because of CloudFront. Because of CloudFront. Yeah. Why? CloudFront speeds your website up. Does it? Let's see. I want to show you something. I use CloudFront once. A Cloudflare, sorry. Cloudflare. It's because of you use Cloudflare. Not CloudFront, that's Amazon. I'm sorry. And if we go to the control panel and we log out, I'll show you. Just sign out here. <sighs> Cloudflare. On the CP, with ad roll, ad roll, and the Facebook pixel spying on me, I pay for this CP. It's a private CP for a private online shop, which I pay a monthly subscription for. Yeah? Do you pay me? Or does Facebook pay me with the Facebook pixel to spy on me? If you don't know what the Facebook pixel is, you better start studying what it does and how it spies, cross-domain spies, spies on your contacts, Spies on people who have Facebook accounts from your contacts. Checks if they don't. If they don't, they get ads when they go to YouTube. And I don't know what. And you're selling data brokering from our behavior. Hey, you're getting money from us for your services as an e-commerce widget. Yeah. That does not mean that you can secretly, without, taking, without telling us, sell data about our behaviors and our online shops to data brokers. Yeah. And share it with Facebook. Yeah, and Google, yeah, and me optimizing my website on the advice of Google, uh, what used to be called Webmaster Tools, which is now something studio, I don't know, yeah, and learning after the Google update how to make my SEO better and make my website load faster. I can't do it because I'm using Equid, and Equid uses Cloudflare, and as I said, uh, Cloudflare and CloudFront, yeah, it's not CloudFront, it's Cloudflare. Cloudflare. Flare. Now, how many times have you seen this? I have got bored and pressed the back button. Maybe you don't. I've pressed the back button about a thousand times. Every time I come to a website that does that, I press the back button because it says, please allow up to five seconds. Actually, it can take 20 seconds, yeah? But, okay, it's loaded. My website's loaded. My blog's loaded. Equid hasn't loaded. My latest articles are already loaded. Equid has just loaded. 
it's taken five, six, five to ten seconds to load. So you have just taken a one to two second loading time on my website and turned it into a five to ten second loading time, making my website unpalatable to the new Google algorithm because you use Cloudflare, which delays things. They say, use Cloudflare, it speeds up your website. How can it speed up your egg site, web, your egg site, <laughs> your website, when it puts this in front of you? You're the checking your browser before accessing. Excuse me. This process is automatic. Your browser will redirect to your requested content shortly. Please allow up to five seconds. It's already taken you fifteen seconds to read that. Plus five seconds. I've actually counted. It takes 20 seconds, 30 seconds, 15 seconds, 12 seconds. Yeah. But putting that between you and a loaded page, how's that going to make the new Google algorithm? Yeah. And here's Ancient Amulet. Let's load this. That's loaded. My website is loaded. My blog's loaded. But the script of Equid, see the blog's there. The blog was there. Yeah. How long it takes me? One second. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine seconds. Nine seconds to load this this script. This Equid script here. Nine seconds. Nine seconds. I don't know why I don't see Cloudflare here. In the WAF. Yeah. Oh, by the way, also on the front end. Options header not found the wrong value. Strict transport security header not found. X-frame options header is deprecated and your XXSS protection header is de deprecated. Okay? Right? But this one to two second loading website takes 10 seconds to load and has a lower ranking in Google because of that. Because Equid takes ages to load. Whereas Equid actually probably does not take ages to load even though it's dependent on AWS, which was a big mistake because you should buy your own server and serve your own stuff and have your own cold room. But I realize you're a very small company and we don't want to spend much money. Rubbish, you've got a million customers already. You can afford your own server room for one million customers only. You're just being stingy like me. I don't pay for anything. I've got seven online websites, early adopters. I admit it. I'm an ass. I'm a greedy, clever little webmaster. Yeah. I upgraded to $99 to see the difference between my $17 a month early adopter, silver accounts, and the $99 a month. It doesn't even have newsletters. It still wants you to subscribe to MailChimp. It doesn't have an advanced way of looking at your sales between this date and that date with a calendar on it. It just has the last 30 days. It doesn't even have much more. And then, you know, let's log in. Actually, I have another one here where I'm already logged in. Yeah. Because I logged out to show you the cloud front. And, uh, you know, like, what's this? Facebook. Log in and launch a Facebook store. Why? So that they can leech all of my big data. And take all of the Google search results for my products. So people go to Facebook and find it on Facebook instead of my website which happens to have Google ads on it and is making me, well, between all the websites, a couple of hundred dollars a month, not including my YouTube earnings. So that pays for my electricity and stuff. Just like you, I make money. So I'm paying $17 a month for this. Yeah, store at 173011. It doesn't work properly because you broke it a couple of times, but I live with it for that price. Yeah. But the dashboard, if I paid 99 a month and upgraded, this last 30 days thing here would still be there. Yeah. 
other channels, like sell on Instagram. Why should I? I have to pay and they take a commission. Cloudflare, Cloudfront, ad roll. What is this ad roll? You're advertising to me inside my own paid C control panel. I'm paying for this control panel. Yeah, it's a paid service. Like if you download a free app from the App Store in iOS, you can pay 99 cents to remove the ads, yeah? If I upgraded to $99 a month version, I don't know what you call that version, I'm a silver account early adopter, which doesn't exist except for those who were there at the beginning. So whatever your bronze, silver, gold or whatever, your top $99 a month account, you're not going to let me opt out of ad roll, Facebook login, Facebook pixel. Yeah, and you're not going to stop analyzing me with Google Analytics, enhanced e-commerce. And I haven't put it in my Google Analytics because I don't want Google looking at my e-commerce. But you've gone and put it in instead. So they get, instead of me stopping them getting it from me by not allowing them, you are giving it to them instead through Google Tag Manager and Google Analytics Enhanced E-Commerce. Not just all of Equits, each different user. Intercom. Well, I suppose that's so that you, you know you use Zopim, I think. Kiss Metrics. Snowplow Analytics. You're paying all of these people? What a waste of money. Do you want to say buy your own server room and stop playing snow, paying snowplow and intercom and kiss metrics, yeah? Atlas CN status page. Zendesk, that's who you use. Used. Because there's no customer chat, even for $99 a month. You don't have a customer chat with somebody. I've written you about a thousand emails in the past three months and you haven't answered more than four of them. Gravatar. Oh my God. Cloudflare, Facebook, Amazon S3 has to be there. Amazon Cloudfront has to be there. You know, if Amazon gets taken down by the Senate, they all of the FBI, CIA, uh, eBay, and God knows what, everything goes down. The traffic lights go down. Jeff Bezos really has everybody by their pubic hairs, you know? Jesus, anyway, main point is $99 is not worth it for a dashboard like this that tells you the last 30 days inaccurately, yeah? And the fact that you are using Cloudflare for your script is making any website that uses an Equid e-commerce widget so slow that Google is giving it a bad ranking and it's going down and down in search results. Lastly, in a paid control panel, you shouldn't be <laughs> giving ad roll and the Facebook pixel and Google Analytics stories about me because that's my private behavior in my private online shop, yeah? And Facebook is a member of PRISM with the American government yeah, and the NSA. And I do not want the American NSA spying on me with Facebook Pixel because Facebook, Apple, Google, Amazon, all of these, yeah, everything that goes through your Amazon's hired servers, just like in Zoom, they've gone and installed Zoom again in this browser up to take it out. Because if you had a secret disruptive technology and you, your CEO was talking with his investor friend about a new way of introducing a disruptive technology into Equid that would make big commerce, WooCommerce, and even Microsoft Windows go out of business. Well, Zoom, who owns Zoom? Microsoft. Don't you think they're not listening in to every private secret corporate conversation and every multi-chat that's going on with artificial intelligence with Zoom? Of course they are. It's all stored on their servers. So if you have a disruptive technology for your, and communicate on Zoom, 
and you say it's going to destroy Microsoft Windows, I bet you straight away they steal that data. Now, that's in my browser, not in Equid, by the way. Just as is this plugin that I can see you're using Cloudflare, yeah? This has other things. Our builder, our attacker, traffic, macro, proxy, swagger editor. It's, it's, it's a mini hacking tool within the browser, actually. But, uh, yeah, from pentestkit.co.uk. It's for pen testers. It's just for having a quick look. And um, this is really bad. So last 30 days, not the number is not true. This filter is terrible. Because if you look at the catalog, which is fantastic, the filter, yeah, and to filter that, you can filter by category name, any disabled, enabled, stock status, or product type, by ribbon text, or by marketplace category, yeah. You can search for something quite well. What I can't search for is, let's say, uh, Buddhist tattoos. This is something I've been wanting for ages. This is an ebook that I put on sale in 2010. Yeah. Do you know? That's still got one in stock. I take that one out actually. Um. Yeah, this one. What I want to know is, how many times have I sold this since I published it? So we go to sales. And let's imagine I was paying $99 a month. What would I have to do? Buddhist tattoos? So to know how many times I've sold this, The first, it, there's no Buddhist tattoos in there. One. And look, it comes up with other stuff as well. Three products. There's no type. There's a Buddhist tattoo search. So how come this order comes up top? There's no Buddhist tattoos in there. So I sold one, two, three, four, five. I have to pay somebody to go six, seven, eight. No, very, very, very efficient search method. Nine, ten. That was free, but okay. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. That was a free one. Fifteen, sixteen. That was a free one. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46. What's that doing there? <laughs> 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71. No. No, those are free. 58. Oh, no, they're not. No, they're not. What's this? Changed it, obviously. 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72. Page 2, 73, 74, 75. I'm not going to do it, of course. I want to know how many have I sold in a year of this item. Yeah? Abandoned carts. Ridiculous. Uh, and customers, what can I look at? That. But what can you look at? Lots of things.
lots and lots and lots of things so you've got 3437 customers here who you are looking at and your broker data broker in selling their emails to people to advertisers like adroll and facebook yeah and i don't know what express is but i'll find out Kiss Metric and also Kiss Metrics, they sell their data brokers, they sell to advertisers because they have the metrics. So advertisers for sure, they want that's really good information. Yeah. They get it from you and advertisers get it from them. So there you go. That's all I can see about my customers. But the Facebook pixel, yeah, that's in here. Can see a lot more about these people here. And so I don't compromise my customers' privacy. And the reason Equid says this is all they give us to look at our customers, yeah? This is all they give us. That's all I can do. That's all I can do. I can't see. I could do this manually and see. But it already says there how many orders he's made. See how many orders he's made and that's it. Yeah? And that's not how many orders he made. That's Scott and T.W. Gerald and Mayo L. Azteca. Oh, sorry. So there should be two, shouldn't there? No orders. Did he make an order? No, he didn't. So we'll do this. Should come up with two orders. Let's see if it's accurate. Might as well while I'm on. But really, you know, Equid sucks with this uh, Patia uh, two orders. That's accurate. This dashboard sucks. This dashboard off a disk. Browse the app market. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Browse the app market. Unknown URL scheme, DevTools Fighter. Oh my god. Good. Thank you. Connection closed. Load resource. Buddhist tattoos. MyEquid.com. Oh my god. Let's open it in a new tab. What's this? It's the pixel. It's the Facebook pixel. <laughs> you don't, it's not, it's not a pixel, believe me. Believe me. Back end. You know, if I get into looking at everything you're doing here, Facebook pixel, you are sending a non-standard event or premium page view. The preferred way to send these events is using track custom. So you go to get this out of the bloody dev tools fade to source. Dev tools fade to low source. Good. I don't want it to load the content. Pixel.cdnwids. Oh my God. This is really disgusting, you know. Look at all this. I know you need scripts. But there are scripts in here like FB events. No, thank you. So look at the dashboard. So my main issue is to show you that for $99 a month, if I was paying that, this last 30 days thing is absolutely dis disgusting. And the fact that uh, there is no... Email all customers. You have no newsletters. Upgrade to $99 so that I can pay MailChimp $30 a month. No. 
upgrade to $99 from 17 so that you have your newsletter because WordPress for free with WooCommerce for free on my paid hosting server with DreamHost, not for free. Yeah, so I pay for hosting on DreamHost and I install WordPress for free. Then I install WooCommerce for free. I've got a country blocker for free. I've got a free newsletter. Yeah, I can email for free all of my customers for free. It's got shipping methods. It's got weights. It's got alternatives. It's got a, absolutely almost everything that e Equid has, except one thing. It's all free, unless you want to pay for WooCommerce add-ons, but you don't have to because there are free things. I've got PayPal free payments, Western Union payments, bank transfer payments, yeah. And it's all free. And I can newsletter them for free. So why should I take this $17 CP, what you're doing data brokering on, and have a Facebook pixel in there, which is one of the biggest... Do you know how many lines of code are in the Facebook pixel? I think it's 2 million. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I can't remember. Yeah. I watched a DEF CON Black Hat conference that was talking about the Facebook pixel and what's in it. And it's disgusting. I don't want that in here. Like you've got things inserted here from exterior websites. You've got exterior scripts that are actual spyware. And I'm paying for this. And if I upgraded to $99 a month and I was on this page for newsletters, wanting to send a newsletter to my customers with a $99 a month product called Equid Control Panel, and I see connect with mail, upgrade to $99 a month so you can connect to MailChimp. I don't want to connect to MailChimp anyway, even for 17 a month, which is what I pay. And for 17 a month, I say, okay, no newsletter. But that's why I now have thailandamulet.com, which is all free and it's not equid at all. Because any further sites I... Use actually, I don't want to go in to the W. Well, too late. I'll blur that. Yeah, the email is correct. You can't hack an iCloud, my iCloud anyway, and you know my email. But I'll blur that for uh, YouTube because I have a blur thing in Active Presenter Pro, which I'm using to record this. In case you want to know what I'm using to record with. So, this is WordPress and WooCommerce, yeah. And I, there is a, I can email all of my WooCommerce customers, yeah. And in fact, I wasn't going to log in anyway. But what else, what I'll say is, <laughs> sign up free. Don't have a MailChimp account. Sign up free. Look at this. Look at down at the bottom left here. MailChimp.com. Sign up. PID ECW underscore 20. Equid 20. That's an affiliate link. So even if I don't upgrade to $99, if I sign up to MailChimp by clicking there, which I wouldn't, I'd just do this. Because I'm not giving you money like that. I never do. I like people to click my affiliate limps. But uh, if I wanted to go to MailChimp, i click the ad so that MailChimp... Look, there you go. DDS Cloudflare speeds your website up. That just added five seconds to the time it takes for my website to load. And Google will say that activecampaign.com... Compare mail to me. It's not even mail. Jesus Christ. Look at this. That's an ad. 
So let's go back again. And that's an ad. Let's just go to MailChimp. Now it says here, instead of activecampaign.com, it says MailChimp.com. And that's how I go to MailChimp. Not by doing this. Mail, login.mailchimp.com, sign up, PID, Equid20. Affiliates. Excuse me, I'm paying you already for this control panel. Stop trying to make more money out of me in this really... You know, I learned how to do that 30 years ago, buddies. This is a private control panel that's being paid for. Not a platform for you to do affiliate marketing with, okay? Yeah? And Equid, although it's actually not the best, to be honest, because WooCommerce, I have an order to process, actually. But let's just visit the site. This is my site. And this is my store. This is WooCommerce, not Equid. Huh? And it's free. So let's just, and look, you might also like it even scrolls, not like the Equid one. And it loads. Let's see how long time this takes to load with WooCommerce. It's loaded. And let's see how long it takes for the Equid script to load. Well, WordPress loads, but the Equity 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, about 8 seconds to load that. Yeah. Whereas, yeah, all amulets. That's just all. One second. With ads in, with Google ads, I have to load first. Look, it's loaded. It's loaded. It's loaded. Okay, the picture's big. The picture's load. I haven't put it on slow load. What do you call that slow load? I don't use that. Or it's the first time because I delete all my caches and uh, use CMD to do, to uh, refresh my DNS and stuff all of the time. So it does take a time for images to, uh, like that to load. But there you go. Start page. WooCommerce. Wo uh, not, WooCommerce with WordPress. And free newsletter, all for free. The only thing I pay for is my hosting, yeah? That's the only thing I pay for is my hosting. Uh, loading very very quickly. And actually, the internet must be slow. We must be getting a storm in Thailand because normally they just load straight away. So it's just slowed down in the last minute or two. And here, really, really slow. And also, uh, let me just have a look here. To be fair... Waff. Who am I spying on? Who are they on? These I should find out and get out. The Twitter emoji I should get out. Low dash. I'll find out what that is. Underscore. WooCommerce. WordPress. The Zerb Foundation. Font Awesome. I don't even like that actually. I shall have to see what Low Dash and Modernizer is and Twitter emoji. But apart from that, I don't have any Facebook pixel. I don't have any Cloudflare or Cloudfront. So if Amazon gets taken down by the Senate for monopolization of Pampers and other things, crimes they're doing, white color crimes, then all of his servers go down and my own online shops go down because all of your servers go down because you're using Amazon AWS. My advice is buy your own server because that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start using my own server. I'm going to start using... You still need the internet service, but if you've got your own servers, at least. At least. Yeah. And then maybe I'm going to use Elon Musk's Starlink. We shall see what happens with the internet. That is emerging technologies. I'm not ready to talk about that yet. But anyway, you look. WordPress for free with WooCommerce for free with free newsletters against paying $99 for something that only tells you the statistics of lifetime or last 30 days. 
yeah? And then if you want to market well, newsletters, you have to upgrade to $99 a month just to be able to sign up with MailChimp and click on a link that you make money out of, which is an affiliate link to MailChimp. So get us to up, get me to upgrade from $17 to $99 a month using an affiliate link that you're making money out get money out of to get me to sign up with MailChimp. So if I want a newsletter, I have to upgrade to $99 a month? No, that's deceptive, I'm afraid. Yeah, click on newsletters. This is really deceptive, which goes in my files for my lawyers because I've told you already about what you're doing on Pinterest, stealing my images and leading people to places away from my website and claiming it's your own content. That's my intellectual content. None of the images of my products should be on your Pinterest account of Equid. Huh? Request customer's approval for your marketing emails at checkout. Are you requesting me approval for putting the Facebook pixel here and ad roll in and spying on me? No, you're not. You're not even telling me. Are you telling me, asking me for approval to let you make money from me in my own CP by clicking on login.mailchimp.com sign up slash question mark PID uh, affiliate ID equid EC equals ECW underscore 20 and source equals website, which means from the equid website, my dot subdomain, my dot equid dot com, which you registered as website, ECW underscore 20, which is your affiliate username. I could even try and hack you on MailChimp as an affiliate as ECW underscore 20. I know your numbers. I know your username. All I need is your password. Now I better get Metasploit on. And then I can log in to your MailChimp affiliate account. Because I can see your username. And if I just open Carly Linux on a U Carly Live on a USB now, within about an hour at most, I'll have your password. I'm not going to do it, by the way. I'm just showing you that by putting this affiliate link in, you're actually showing your username. Anyway, why is an affiliate link in my paid control panel? Equid sucks. Are you telling me I have to upgrade to connect to MailChimp? Let's click the upgrade button. I'm an early adopter for 17, yeah? And you want me to upgrade... To minimum 35 or unlimited 20,000 products? No. For 17, I've got unlimited products. Why the hell should I pay 35 to limit it down to 20,000? I've already got unlimited for 17 a month. So by paying 99... No. No, thank you. I'll stay on silver. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. No, thank you. Because I have, I don't want Facebook shop. I don't want Instagram store. I don't want the marketplaces. I want all my products in one place, not 500 places. I don't know why people think that's a good way to sell. I really don't. As an individual, I'm one of the best sellers on Equid. It's not a company with a branded product. Maybe it's for branded products. But anyway, yeah, you can buy an Asus on Amazon, on eBay, on Lazada. Loads of different people making money from it. Well, I'd rather just me making money from my stuff. Pinterest advertising, Facebook advertising, Google advertising. I don't pay to promote things. I promote for free. If you start paying for things, you don't make any money. You start falling into things like this unlimited 99 a month plan and uh, paying for ads on Instagram and paying for ads to boost a post on Facebook. And if you put your Facebook shop in there for $99 a month, I, I can do that anyway. I can use HTML tab, which is much better because they can't steal the data rather than letting Equid connect to Facebook and upgrade it to $99. All I do is use... HTML tab in Facebook, and then I go to overview, go here, go to 
custom website, copy my code to clipboard. Actually, I don't. I will, um, can't even do that. What? Make it show us. Oh my God. This is the old version. Copy the code. Yeah. And insert it into a HTML tab in Facebook and put that tab, rename the tab as shop. And people can shop on Equid within Facebook without Facebook connecting their database to your database. So it's much better to use this script in a HTML tab in Facebook than doing this. No way. Apart from that, the Facebook store does not display the store nice and neatly like this. It displays it in rows of absolutely disgusting display. Whereas if you use HTML tab on Facebook, make a, t a HTML tab, insert the HTML of this script here into it, you will get perfectly this um, responsive design, which Equid uses. Which, of course, if I was on an iPhone, I'd see one product. A tablet, I'd see two or three products in row. And here in this 17-inch uh, browser, I can see five products. And I've set it to show maximum five sideways. And I don't know, maybe ten down. Eight, six down. One, two, three, four, five, six. I reduced it to reduce loading time, and it hasn't. It hasn't reduced loading time. Huh? Oh, there's no pixel in there. That's good. But if I went to this, is there? Oh, that's good. That's good. The Google AdSense is mine. That's mine. Yeah. So that's good. But on the CP... On the dashboard and on the login to the CP is disgusting. Cloudflare. I don't like Cloudflare. You just saw us wait five seconds for it to load. So anyway, main point. Last 30 days of a lifetime. This is not accurate. Yeah, It's not. It's not accurate. Here I sold $10,000 on this store number 144732 in the last 30 days. And you say, I've sold 6496 and actually, I've also made some bank transfers and Western Unions over the phone and WhatsApp through this store, which were not going through your database. So there's no way. All you can tell me is what I've sold digitally, but you can't say what I've sold through WhatsApp, through people looking at my website and contacting me. So, and um, the absence of I don't even know where that has gone now. The marketing, the newsletters, that's disgusting. That's disgusting. What is newsletters? You don't even have a newsletter. You haven't written one because you're a small team. No, you're not. You've got a million customers. Upgrade to $99 or $35 a month from my 17 to pay MailChimp $30 a month, because as soon as you reach 2,000 subscribers, which I reached in about less than a month, all of a sudden I couldn't send the, send the newsletter anymore because I had to pay them. I think it was $30 to send one letter to 2,000 people or sign up for a monthly subscription. But as I said... Um, with WordPress and WooCommerce, I'm afraid you have also newsletters for free to all customers. So there's no way. And I own about six or seven early adopter Equid shops. But to be honest, I own a couple of other shops now, which I opened since then. And any other shops I will open in future will always be WooCommerce. Because why? It's got newsletters for free. 
And WooCommerce itself is free unless you want to start paying for things. But I learned that the way to make money online is to just use all the free stuff and never use any of the paid stuff except what you have to, e.g. hosting. And I didn't even do that at first. I don't even have to do that. I'll show you why. Screw MailChimp. We'll go to buddhistamulets.blogspot.com And this is free. You don't need a host. But Google will, of course. Oh, sorry, misspell. So, you make a blog spot for free? Yeah? And you can make PayPal pay buttons and make your own website for free. Yeah? Or WordPress. And free WooCommerce, wordpress.com, make your own WordPress site. As you can see, I have here Thailand Emulators, one store 173011 in here in the blog spot. I also have the store 144, whatever it is, Ancient Emulet, which takes so long to load compared to Blogspot itself, which is my other complaint, that Google's SEO requires fast loading. Not slow loading. And this is slow loading. Cloudfront Amazon. That's not from Google, is it? It's not from Blogspot. That's from you. So the thing that's making your script slow to load of Equid, in my opinion, is the fact you're using Cloudfront. Uh, Cloudflare. Not CloudFront, or CloudFront, which is Amazon. But anyway, CloudFront obviously is connected with Cloudflare somehow. I believe something, either that or you know why, but something is making your script load really slow and it's affecting the new Google algorithm, uh, search algorithm, to a very negative extent because the slower your website loads, the, the 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 lower the ranking Google ranking gets, yeah. And as you can see, my WordPress website one last time it's loaded, the blog's loaded, the script is still loading, Equid is still loading. Boom! It's just too slow. It's too slow, guys. About the control panel and your Facebook pixel, do your studies. You've all probably under thirty or under 35, been to university and got degrees. I'm 56 and self-taught. And I started in the mid nineties. And so um, experience always stands over qualifications because I've encountered so many unexpected things in the last 30 years that you haven't, that I can think of things that you won't. So speed up the loading of Equid e-commerce widget as fast as you can to keep up with the new rules of Google SEO. If not, all the Equid website shops are going to be damaged because of the slow load time. Thank you very much. And please study the Facebook pixel and get it out. Disassociate, disassociate yourself from, fix, from Facebook. Help kill it. Because it will actually help Equid and me and everybody else who has a website. If Facebook didn't exist, it would be back to forums and websites, personally owned blogs and websites. And it would become a freer internet. So I'm asking you as a corporation to stop supporting these big tech companies that actually destroy the pampers.com. They're in the Senate for monopolization and they want your data so they can monopolize and put you into the ground six feet under later. They will destroy you with a disruptive technology based on the data they've gathered from Equid. So just, just get them out. Don't let Instagram, Facebook, Google look at you as much. We have to use Google, but reduce it. And definitely, definitely boycott Facebook. People are stopping using it. People are disgusted with, ever since Cambridge Analytica, it's got worse and worse, and they've been drilled into worse and worse and worse and worse, and now people know more and more and more. 
Nobody uses Facebook anymore. They use Messenger and a little bit of Facebook. Yeah, there's millions using it, but compared to before, no. Where is MySpace now? Where is geocities.com now? Gone from the face of the earth. Where will Facebook be five years from now? I'm telling you, gone. Gone. Get it out of the CP and don't use Cloudflare. First of all, you're paying for a service that is actually damaging you, not benefiting you. Just use HTTPS. Yeah. Thank you very much. Have a nice day, everybody.